This is an RTV6 update working for you. I'm Lauren Casey and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Two men are now in custody this morning in connection with the murder of a 60 year old man. 42 year old Dwayne Scott Muse and 43 year old Rhett Allen Martin are both charged with arson and murder. Indiana State Police began their investigation back on December 6 after firefighters found the body of 60 year old Daniel Regal inside of a home in Fowler, Indiana that's out in Benton County. Investigators have not released Regal's cause of death yet. There's also no word on a possible motive. The CDC now reports more than 50 people have died, including five here in the state of Indiana. According to the Indiana State Health Department, there's currently 56 confirmed cases of lung illness across the state due to vaping. Nationwide, more than 2,400 cases have been reported this year with the highest rates in Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin. The CDC says they're focusing their investigation on a chemical compound, vitamin E acetate. It's commonly found in black market THC cartridges. Right now, we want to get a check of our Friday forecast. And Lauren, as we go throughout the day today, more clouds than sunshine. That is uh, going to be the case throughout much of the day with temperatures that will still climb into the mid to upper 40s. So the temperature is not the issue. They're actually above normal today. It's just the lack of sunshine here throughout the day. But the daylight hours will be dry. It's not until 9, 10 o'clock that we bring some showers in here, mainly in southern areas. So be aware of that. And you can see on true Cassie showers moving in through the 10 o'clock hour. They're with us overnight as well before they depart uh, as we work our way into Saturday morning. As a whole, Saturday is pretty dry once we get past the, the hours in the morning. And then on Sunday, partly cloudy with snow developing late in the day. All right, Todd, thanks so much. For more stories and weather you need to know, you can download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.